Hey guys, what's up? Uh, back in another video. Today we are going to do my AEW Dynasty pay-per-view predictions for this coming Sunday, April 21st. Uh, so let's get this on the way, shall we? We've got a bunch of matches to go through, so no time like the present. Let's fucking get on with this. Uh, first, so first off, we kick off with the dream match. The dream match that everyone's looking forward to if you're an AEW fan, of course. We have Will Ospreay kicking on Brian Danielson. This one should be an awesome contest. Looking forward to it. Uh, but I'm going to go with the, the, the aerial assassin himself, Will Ospreay. Bruv! Bruv's going to pick up the win there, bruv! Yeah, Will Ospreay. I'm going to go with Will Ospreay to pick up the win over the American Dragon as we move on to the next matchup, which is, of course, for the vacated AEW Tag Team titles. We have the Young Bucks taking on FTR in a ladder match for the vacated Tag Team titles. Um, as much as I want FTR to win this match, I don't think they're going to, because I think the Young Bucks will win, because, um, <sighs> because I think, because I think this whole Jack Perry bullshit nonsense with CM Punk's bullshit that they've been doing over the past couple of weeks, uh, you know, mentioning Jack Perry, I think it will have a payoff with Jack Perry helping them to win the tag titles, and I think Jack Perry and the Young Bucks will you know, basically Jack Perry will join the elite and uh, as like a big, like a big CM Punk troll job. Like you know, because we haven't got enough CM Punk. Uh, they, they don't mention CM Punk enough on AEW Dynamite, I guess. Uh, it's completely pathetic. I'm not a big fan of this whole mentioning Punk on TV thing. I just want to put a bullet in this whole situation, get it over with, and just move on because I'm sick and I'm sick and tired of this shit when it comes to the whole CM Punk. Uh, elite Jack Perry Young Bucks bullshit. I'm sick and tired of it. I hope they get past it one of these days because I'm sick and tired of hearing about it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go with uh, the Young Bucks to win and we move on to the next matchup. Uh, next matchup, we have the House Rules match for the AEW TBS Women's Championship. We have Julia Hart taking on Willow Nightingale. I'm going to go with Julia Hart to retain. I think uh, it would be nice to see Willow versus uh, Mercedes Monet. But I think uh, it makes a lot more sense. I don't really see it making much sense for Willow to win the title here just to lose it to Mercedes at double or nothing next month. So uh, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the title on Julie Hart. And, you know, if, if I my prediction is if Julie Hart keeps the title, goes into uh, double or nothing to face Mercedes Monet uh, at double or nothing. Uh, anyway, next matchup we have six man tag team action trios action as they call it. We have Adam Copeland, the TNT champion, taking on the ring, teaming up with the Ring of Honor. Let me try that again. We have Adam Copeland, the TNT champion, teaming up with the with the brand new Ring of Honor world champion Mark Briscoe and the uh, in the uh, the New Japan Strong champion Eddie Kingston to take on the House of Black of Malachi Black, Buddy Matthews, and of course Brody King. Uh, I'm going to go with Adam Copeland's team on this one. Uh, yeah, you know, pretty cool stuff. Uh, yeah. No real reason, just I'm going to go with Adam Copeland's team. Uh, keep the momentum going for Mark Briscoe. Let's get let's end this feud with the, with the House of Black. Next matchup, we have the, t uh, the, the AEW Women's Championship on the line. The AEW Women's World Championship on the line. As Timeless Tony Storm takes on the former champion Thunder Rosa. Uh, I'm going to go with Timeless Tony Storm to retain. No real reason, just because. Uh, and we move on to the next match. We have the championship, or another championship on the line. We have the Continental Crown Championship on the line. We have the new champion, Kozikia Okada. I'll pronounce that name right one of these days. Basically, Okada taking on Pac for the, uh, the Continental Crown Championship. This one should be fun. I look forward to it, but I'm going to predict Okada to retain. He's just won it, so no need to take the title off him just yet. So I'm going to pick Okada to retain. Next matchup, we have the International Championship on the line. We have Roderick Strong taking on Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, the returning Kyle O'Reilly, who returned at the last pay-per-view Revolution. Uh, I'm going to pick Roderick Strong to retain. He only just won the title at Revolution, so I don't see the point of taking the title on him just yet, even, even if it's Kyle O'Reilly's just returned. So I think Kyle O'Reilly can afford a loss, and uh, Roderick Strong can keep the title for a little bit longer, maybe with the help of Wardlow, because Wardlow's Wardlow's job in the Undisputed Kingdom is to keep make sure that the titles stay in the Undisputed Kingdom. So I think uh, Roderick Strong will retain thanks to Wardlow. 
And then finally, we have the main event of the evening. We have this match right here. We have the, the, the AEW World Heavyweight Champion Samoa Joe defending Natalo against Swerve Strickland. Uh, this one should be a very fun indeed. I'm going to go with the one and only Swerve Strickland to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, by nobody's surprise. Uh, I think it's time, man. You know, uh, I kind of feel bad that Samoa Joe uh, would like him to have a little bit of a longer title reign, but I just feel like it's Swerve's time. And uh, unless Hangman Page screws him, because I know Hangman Page has this uh, that that anger when it comes to Swerve Strickland. Uh, uh, rightfully so, may I add. I mean, the guy did break into his house in storyline, of course, so, uh, and threatened his kid. So, yeah, <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, Hangman's got his own personal problems, so to speak. We haven't seen Hangman since Revolution. So maybe Hangman might cost Swerve, who knows, but I'm going to go with Swerve to win the World Heavyweight Championship right here at Dynasty. And uh, that's that going to be it now, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments, leave me a like if you deserve it, and I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever that may be. And I'm out.